Good morning, this is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. A 35-year-old Edgerton, Minnesota man is in jail charged with killing a Sioux Falls woman over the weekend. Joseph Benson is charged with one count of second-degree murder in the death of 38-year-old Samantha Caney. According to court documents, police responded to a report of a possible domestic assault that took place at a home in Edgerton where Benson was staying with his girlfriends. When they got there, they noticed Benson had scratches on his face and all down his arms. Court papers say when officers tried to make contact with anyone else in the house, Benson stated there was no one else inside, but said there's a dead body upstairs. Benson is being held in the Pipestone County Jail on $250,000 bond only with no conditions. He will appear in court next Tuesday, November 12th. You can read more about the case on Kelloland.com. A White River man is headed to prison after being convicted on two counts of rape. 27-year-old Keenan Bordeaux was sentenced to 20 years behind bars. A jury found him guilty in March of second and third degree rape, along with sexual contact of someone incapable of consenting. Bordeaux was arrested in June of last year. Initiated Measure 28 failed Tuesday night. The measure would have done away with the state's share of the sales tax on items for human consumption. Supporters say eliminating the tax on groceries is one of the best ways to help families that are struggling financially. The measure was rejected by around 70 percent of the voters. Sioux Falls Mayor Paul Tenhaken was a vocal opponent. When there's confusion and when voters are confused, they tend to, to vote no. And this was a really confusing initiated measure. Ten Haken says a better written measure with guardrails might give more support in the future. South Dakota is one of two states that still taxes groceries at the full rates. Now let's get a check on our forecast with meteorologist Scott Munt. Scott? Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, even some uh, patchy fog yet again. Northeastern South Dakota in and around the Watertown area waking up to fog. That will go away. We'll have sunshine. Temperatures today will be at or above average. Many locations in the 50s, though we will have a couple of us stuck in the upper 40s. 48 in Watertown, 48 in Worthington. Brian will have more details on your forecast coming up. Thank you, Scott. Another street construction season is coming to an end in Sioux Falls. At the One Sioux Falls briefing, the city talked about some of the projects that got done this year. Those include the new diverging diamond interchanges at 41st Street and I-29 and I-29 and Benson Road. Both of these DDIs will greatly improve safety and traffic flow in those areas. Um, while we don't expect zero crashes, uh, the significant reductions we've seen so far are very positive. Berg also warned drivers about being cautious while going through the diverging diamonds during the winter. If you're in the market for a unique handmade Christmas stocking, a local coffee shop has you covered. Kingbird Coffee in Brandon is once again selling stockings made out of used coffee sacks. The money raised will benefit young aspiring artists in the community. After creating about 100 specialty stockings last year, the stocking makers could use your help. We are starting a little earlier and we're planning to do more and I've kind of reached out to a couple organizations or if anybody out there wants to get our pattern, we can supply you with coffee bags. All we ask is you make them for us, give them back to us so we can sell them to donate the money to the Brandon Art Department. The stockings are $20 a piece and will be available by Thanksgiving at Kingbird Coffee Shop. An event in Sioux Falls this week is giving people a chance to re-wear their old favorite dresses while supporting a good cause. The fancy dress event put on by House of Color is benefiting MB's Dress for Success program. The event will feature a dinner and fashion show. It's a way to grab your girls uh, for a good cause and um, you know wear that dress that you would love to re-wear again to promote sustainability uh, and just come for a good cause. The fancy dress event is tonight at the Country Club of Sioux Falls. Tickets are $50. If you'd like to purchase a ticket, follow the link under this story here on Kelloland.com. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens. Brian? All right, our weather picture today, more sunshine. Morning fog issues that are patchy in the northeast should diminish and a southwesterly wind this afternoon will bode well for pretty nice weather for early November. A lot of 50s. Uh, we're expecting Sioux Falls and Aberdeen right about 51 for a high. And just notice that current of wind there from the southwest. It'll peak a little stronger uh, in the Coteau areas of the northeast, but most areas probably about 5 to 15 or maybe just a little bit more than that. Tonight, we do expect a uh, 
mainly clear skies, a couple of passing high clouds. Temperatures will bottom out uh, in the morning into the upper 20s and low 30s. East River, a few more mid 20s in the west. And then tomorrow, some clouds will be thickening up in advance of that upper level low coming our direction. And that's, of course, giving us the rain chance into the weekend. But 50s ahead of it. And with a system like this, it's really cut off from any cold air. So while it can snow in the mountains out in Colorado and actually down even into the plains of Colorado, they've got quite a bit of snow issues there. Once it moves out of that region, it will incorporate, I would say, generally speaking, fairly mild air for November. So we're going to still call for highs in the 40s on Saturday with the rain. But once it exits by Sunday morning, then we're back to some 50 degree weather. You're curious about how much rain this could deliver? Well, the initial look here is that we're probably not looking at soaking rain. But, you know, can we manage at least a quarter of an inch of rain? You know, the last system produced a couple of swaths of a half an inch. That's still reasonable. Maybe we don't go widespread numbers that big, but at least we can start moving the needle a little bit there on some rainfall. And in November, you know, anything you get now, you're just going to put in the bank here for next spring. And really the, the moisture, we well, ground could really use some more. We'll put it that way. How about another system next week? Well, it looks like by probably Wednesday, we got a trough there digging in the west. You got more mountain snow. This one so far is still disconnected to anything cold. So it produces some thunderstorms to our south. We're kind of in a scenario, too, where, again, we could pick up some rain there as that moves right along. So it's been kind of the story now the last week or so you know picked up some more weather uh, things are you know moving along a little bit more we'll see what happens here we've got some opportunities to fill in the math a little bit there okay we're up to 51 today Sioux Falls 54 in Pier 55 Rapid City seven day forecast there's that 90 percent chance of rain on Saturday with a high of 50 Mid and upper 50s early next week we'll go with dry skies there and then watch that next system by Wednesday. Aberdeen in the northeast, a 70% chance of rain, showers, and cooler highs uh, right around 51. 55 by Sunday with the clearing, and we expect Pier also will get some good rain chances, at least showers on Saturday. Same thing, 51, just a little bit cooler, but we'll rebound next week. I would say 50s. That, that's not all that cool. In fact, just the opposite. It's actually above normal. In Rapid City, a 62 by Saturday or Sunday, I should say, into Monday. Check out more details online at Kettleland.com.